Hey, what's up guys? My name is Azodi and welcome to the video. It's great to have you here. Today we are going to be reacting to Warriors Season 2020 Cinematic for League of Legends. Usually on this channel I prefer to go a bit more deeper into the music production side and songwriting side. So hopefully after watching this you can get a different sort of appreciation for the song. After doing the reaction video for Giants, it inspired me to want to fire up the game again and I haven't played since about 2014. When I had re-downloaded it, fired the game up and went in, I had realized that the account had been hacked. <laughs> but it was a hacking of someone who went in and just played a bunch of games and had all their mates as well, which was really random. Anyway, yeah, could have been a lot worse. <laughs> if you want to see any of your favorite League of Legends or general video game soundtracks, let me know in the comment box below. Without further ado, let's do this. Let's get to it. Strain with the epic shot. There he is. I feel that sadness already. As a child, oh, that mood. Oh, it just looks absolutely incredible. Straight off the bat. Wow. So just off the bat, obviously visuals incredible, but can you feel the somber drama in the feeling and the emotion portrayed in the music? Because even though visually it's incredibly epic, quite a lot of action going on, but the mood and tempo of the song is actually very slow. It's very held back. And it's this kind of weird juxtaposition of quite intense visual versus very sad, dramatic, slow music. Yeah, it feels really, really engaging to watch. Anyway, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Just feel that build. Caitlin. <laughs> Is that the main theme there? The Warriors. I'm just trying to rein in all this visual music at the same time. It's crazy. It's going to build. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> that build was incredible. Pay off and release. Okay, that's really interesting. So you have the build, the build, and then when he fires that shot, the drum beat comes in and then you get the payoff where they reward you for sticking with the song so long to get that massive, heavy, slow drum beat. And yeah, it just has so much power. And generally when you're composing and writing, um, if you want to create a good sense of power in the music, it's always better to hold back on the BPM slightly. Good example of this is uh, dubstep. Dubstep tends to be around about 70 beats per minute, which is generally a bit more of the slower sort of tempo. But because it's slower, you have more control and it creates a stronger sense of power. And you can definitely feel it in the music here. Then to show development, they introduce a new musical element, which sounds like an ascending arp or a synth. And it's that kind of climbing feeling. And it's really giving the music this sense of... I don't know, power and tallness. You've got the heavy drums grounding the entire music here, and then you've got this high ascending sort of melody up here, and it creates this nice sense of tallness and insane visuals as always. I wouldn't expect anything less from League of Legends visuals. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, violin, sorry. Just want to do this. They're always so good at drama, Riot. Ok, 
Okay, we've, they've brought you back down now. Highs and keeping it up and down, you know. Oh, that tension. The tension. So epic. <laughs> So good. It's really interesting. It's really interesting because they are just repeating effectively the same progression, but they're keeping it so engaging and so interesting by introducing new elements to keep you, the listener, engaged and keep you watching to the end of the trailer. Because at the end of the day, that's one of the most important things and not just cinematic trailers, but general music. You want to keep you engaged and interested to the end. You can get away with just doing very minimal songwriting, but just keep developing and building on a very simple idea and just keep structuring it and structuring it. And the foundation of the song is very solid. Yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely amazing. There it is. Absolutely massive, massive track, isn't it? So production credits, Warriors. The original song was by Imagine Dragons, so that would explain the massive drums. And Imagine Dragons do end up, end up using quite rock. They're quite rock drums mixed with sort of cinematic. And then it's got orchestral drums and percussion sitting around it. Featured artists Two Way, Two Y, and Edda Haynes. So Edda Hayes would be the vocalist, which is cool. What I loved about it is the way that it built and built and it kept using the same idea, but introducing subtle new elements to keep you, the listener, interested and engaged. And you just don't get bored because it's very good songwriting arrangement production. All of it works really well. And then you've got the incredible visuals as well to go along with it. I have a few more League of Legends videos if you want to check them out. I've done Pop Stars and I've done Giants. I'll put them in the link box below. If you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps the channel out as I am just simply just trying to grow the channel. Thanks so much and I will catch you again soon.